a power hour at the bins, baby. And we still filled up a cart full of junk. It's not junk, it's good. High it's quality good. H2O. High quality, high quality <laughs> H2O. Um, yeah, I, I, honestly, I didn't, because it's kind of picked over at this time. Um, you can still find goods though. You gotta, you gotta really dig. You gotta stuff. dig in there. I mean, we're walking out with a uh, cart full of stuff, but again, it depends on what your, um, what you're looking for, you know. It's me. Also, a big shout out to Trey. What's up? It was cool meeting you at the bins, uh, viewer of the channel. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. I, mean, I get nervous though, and I I, t <laughs> I had to ask him his name again because when somebody recognizes me or whatever, I get nervous, and then I just I, I'm already bad at people's names. Like remembering people's names you could tell me right now and I'll forget it right now that's <laughs> that's how bad it is check this out there is a swarm of bees or these uh what are they called uh dang it what are they called what are they called uh yellow jackets there is some going here there's more on that booth or bin and there's more behind us I'm like dang should I get them just sell them as bees that is pretty crazy. They got their little tag. It says our mascots play K-12 mascots all over America. It's crazy. It'll be like my Anna man. <laughs> I don't have that many uh, subscribers though. But they're kind of cool. They're kind of cool and there's tons of them. I don't know. Think about it. All right, guys. It's haul time. I'm going to show you what we picked up. We were only there for an hour. It was quick. It went by quick. That was probably the quickest hour in my life. Yeah. I was like, Monique, we have to go. She's like, no. <laughs> I was like, I just got warmed up. Um, <clears throat> so I was like ping ponging through all the all the uh, bins, just kind of looking at everything. Because um, it was a little bit picked over, but even though it is, still. you still got to dig. You dig? You dig? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, huh? Uh, so let's get into it. So this video is not super long. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. You go first. Uh, I found lots of fabric remnants. Got some little Christmas trees. I got a Halloween one. It looks like some kind of... Oh, they're like a bunch of the same. It's like a bunch of black cats and pumpkins. Boo Boo Kitty. Boo Boo Kitties. But they're called so Boo Boo Kitties. Cool. What would you use something like this for? I don't Does know. it come in squares? Well, like my mom, when, when I was younger, I remember she had like a Precious Moments one. And you had like two of the same. And then you do it front and back. You know what I mean? But you'd have to have like the mirror image, I guess. You like a pillow or something or what? Oh, like she made a, a Christmas stocking. Uh, so, but I don't know. Like this, you could probably do whatever. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I got a uh, build a bear here, and this is oh, it has a crutch. The story of a girl. It has feel better soon. So he has a little crutch, a little band aid, a little bandana here. He's a uh, he's wearing a mask. He's masked up, he's masking up, and then he has a little. I guess what's supposed to be a um, cast. A cast, but it looks it's like a sock. It just slips on. It says bear me attitude no that's not what it says uh feel better yeah so that's that's cool so again i'm gonna take these accessories off and put them in the clothing lot the build a bear clothing lot and sell that all sell all that off that way and then just sell the bear individually <clears throat> or unless i get like a cool superhero costume this is like you know so cute. oh does that come off uh i don't know oh yeah it's just a yeah rubber band. it's just a rubber uh, band I think that's a sling, isn't it? A so, sling, for, maybe. For his arm. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. Well, it's masked up. Got masked up. Yeah, it's a little sling for his arm. He's all beat up. Oh, by the way, we spent $75.73. And at the end of the video, we'll tell you the per piece cost. I got a bunch of like fabric placemats. They need to be washed. But they're like the, 
Wow, I got a lot. Um, they're pastel color. I don't know if it's going to show up. So it's pink and green, like little diamond shapes. And then on the back, it has like little stripes and diamonds. Um, I got this for the booth so that we could, um, we have like a thing. What is that thing called? Like a wire rack? Yeah, those, and, those like, grids, those wire grid where you assemble them and it makes like little cubicles or you can make a wall and just put hooks on it and display stuff. So I want to like put this on the bottom part so things like don't fall through the holes. Mm. So that's what I'm going to use them for. Got the, uh, picked up this, um, vintage, uh, 1985 plush and it's the gummy bears. Do you guys remember the gummy bears? I don't know what his, her name is. Her, it's a girl. Yeah. Uh, name is, but she's missing all the clothes, but it's still pretty cool. Check mm -hmm. out that vintage uh, Fisher Price tag, 1985. So that's pretty awesome. It's cool because at the bins I go to, there's some people that go for a plush, but they go for the main characters that you know, like mm -hmm. that everybody knows. This was sitting there, but they went and it was in a new rotation, and there was other plush around it. And it was sitting there, but the people went for the Mickey Mouse, for, you know, those main characters that everybody sees. So that I'm, I'm happy about that because that leaves these guys behind, which are, you know, vintage. And obviously they're not around that much anymore. And uh, that's what I like to find, stuff like this. So that's what brings people to the eBay store. Uh, I found this little sloth guy. I think it might be a baby toy because it says... Infantino on the tag, but he was really cute. He has like little pajamas with the star constellations on there, and he has a little like sleeping cap. He's cute. Did you guys see the brightest star? Uh, out the Christmas star? I, is it out still? I don't know. We went out to see it. This was me and Ray. We were like, let's go out and see it. Okay, there it is. All right, let's go back inside. <laughs> I, I think if you have like a telescope or something, it's probably more impressive. Yeah, it's better. Telescope. If we were even looking at the right one, we're pretty sure we were because it was the brightest thing out there. Yeah, it was like right yeah, next we were like, okay, that's cool. All right, let's go All right, inside. Let's go inside. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have a telescope, that's probably better. Yeah. And uh, found this. Um, these are from. I'm not sure what these are when these are from. Uh, it's a pound puppy, but it's a cat. So that means it stands for pound. Anyways, uh, I found this. It looks like some kind of like whale shark thing. It says Sparkle Destiny Disney. So I'm, gu I'm guessing that's it's from like tie. Finding Nemo or Dory, Chasing Dory or whatever. Probably. I don't know. Or no, isn't it? Oh, Finding Dory. Finding yeah, Dory. you're right. Finding Dory. That's a tag, so that's cool. This is cute. I like it. Found another one of these. I think these are cool. Um, I'm hoping they sell. I have one other one listed. But that one's a raccoon. And this one's bigger. And this is another Belly Buddies by Nanko. Get your belly buddy by Nanko. Um, they have the sparkly eyes. and Which that helps with the sales. Um, in the title, I always put glitter eyes or sparkly eyes or something. And he's holding a little stocking. stocking? It's kind of weird. Right? It's kind of like... I don't know, it's kind of odd. You could put like little like candies or candy canes and I guess. treats on. But he, oh, he's cool though, and he's a nice. He's fit. He's fit, is bro. Is it a hamster? Or what is Looks it? like a hamster like a or something. Hamster? And he still has a tag, so that's awesome. He's cute. I found this uh, Darth Vader mask. It goes to like a costume that has like the elastic in the back. The other one that I found uh, sold. And it was like the whole face shield helmet thing. The voice with changer, the voice I think. Changer. That sold for That's 20 cool. bucks at our booth. Mm -hmm. You think we could get the same price for this? $20 right here? These, these, obvious, uh, these have been selling though. I started putting a couple of Star Wars masks like these, and they've been selling. Oh, at the booth? Yeah, at yeah, the booth. Yeah, that way, the General Grievous. The Grievous one sold. Mask sold the yeah, other day. So, oh, maybe that's all. Keep going. And then we got this. I found this, uh, Pokemans. Pokemans. Uh, Ash Wednesday hat. Ash Wednesday? <laughs> what? Ash Ketchup? Ash Ketchups. Again, Pokemon was after my time. Um, 
when it came out, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, I was already after your childhood. After my childhood, it was like it was like me. This day I was out of ch- out of childhood. The next day, Pokemon came out, and I was like, nerds. My little cousins though liked it a lot and playing the video games, so I never really sat there and played the video games, you know. And yeah, so I'm not too. Fa- I know the characters just because they've been around for a long time, so I'm familiar with them. Yeah. But um, yeah, sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I would have caught that Pokemon fad. But um, yeah, I just never really got into it. But happy to pick it up because it sales makes me some money. We got a giant bunny. And he's like a, a gun. Colored. Yeah. Oh, we gotta fix the little bow. It's coming off. Here's a tag. I wonder if it's vintage though. But he's cool. Looks, I thought he was cool. Looks like a more realistic bunny, like. Yeah. Um, Looks like you're looking at Santa's oh yeah. <laughs> the camera. Expre- what is it? Express the glands. Ew. Uh, 1987. So it's 1987 Gun Bunny. Oh. And he still has his tag. Oh, so that's wow. cool. Easter. Ew. Easter's coming. Easter's around the corner. You gotta put that stuff up. Uh, Found this crazy guy. I like the colors. Um, I like the eyes. So I picked it up. Apparently he's or used to sing or said something. And he is Cuckoo Birds. I'm not familiar familiar with Cuckoo Birds. Uh, Cuckoo Birds from... Doesn't say... Does not say what year. Are you familiar with Cuckoo Birds? Let me know in the comments. But it looks like... um He's like bean filled. And it sounds like he's smuggling a trash bag or something. <laughs> but there's a... And they're cuckoo birds. But I thought he was cool, so I picked him up. We've got a child's costume. <clears throat> it's just oh, li- is it Ant-Man? Yeah, Ant-Man. It's a little linty, so we got to clean it up. And he still has the little shoe covers, too. Oh, cool. So, uh, gonna- good. try to figure out how to display these um, costumes, because I did want to put a clothes rack in the middle but i guess i want i need to find a small one one that's not too bulky because we were today we were looking at our space Mm -hmm. uh because they were selling a like spinning rack and we were like oh we could probably put that in the middle and then once we measured it out we felt like it was gonna be too crowded you know and that place that open space in the middle of the booth is like perfect so i want to find a small um a small clothing rack do you have any ideas or where I could get one. Comments below. Found a couple of uh, superhero shirts. Kind of thinking that maybe I'll pick up a couple of superhero shirts to throw in with the costumes. Since a lot of them are superhero costumes. Um, that was Thor. And then found this cool Batman one. Oh, cool. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. This is my favorite Batman colors. The blue and gray ones. That was like when I was young. That was awesome. I found another vintage Tupperware. Let me show you guys the design. Um, but I couldn't find the lid. And then we're only there for an hour. So. <sighs> yep. You got to hone your skills. You got to hone your picking <laughs> skills. What is that? I have no idea. I don't know what this is. It says for microwave, conventional, and convection oven use. Temperatures up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. I kind of picked it up so I could uh, learn about it, do research on it, and uh, see what it is. Wear? Lift and wear? Yeah, I think it says lift and wear. No, lit and wear. I'm sorry. <clears throat> lit and wear. <laughs> works old. I found this. I thought this was uh, funny. Oh, that dang it. I messed up. I thought it was a. I thought it was an actual Duck Dynasty duck call, but it's oh. not. It's uh, the uncle, the crazy uncle, and it's just him. You squeeze it. And he's just saying, catch rise, dang it. You See? thought it was a real one? I thought it was a, a real duck call. Because uh, I just grabbed it because we were there for an hour again, so. Uh, we should have went through the cart. We didn't go through the cart. Right. Still sealed, damaged. The package is damaged, but oh well. I found a little Christmas tree wine topper. It's really cute. It's made out of glass. 
She's dude. Found, huh? I'm not good. I found this cool robot, dude. I don't know what he is, but... And he was actually, like, his torso and the legs were pulled apart. One was one side of the bin, the other one on the other side. And I saw it, so I picked him up. I thought he was pretty cool. Cool. Um, I didn't see any maker's marks on it, so I'm not sure what this is. If you're familiar with this. I wonder if he's, like, from Gundam or one of those I mean, like that, Japanese. That's what I was thinking, but I don't know. There's no... Because he looks really intricate. There's nothing. So if you're familiar with this, let me know in the comments what this is all about. That's pretty cool. There was actually a couple of uh, pieces like that, but the other ones weren't complete, so I didn't pick them up. I found a little Polly Pocket. She's in like a sleeping bag. And it opens. And there she is. She's like a jelly texture. And then I found this little picture frame. I think it goes to her too. It's a little Polly Pocket. Uh, picture frame. Uh, I guess Monique picked this up. Some Ninja Turtles. We got a little Michelangelo, Raphael. They're pretty cool. Where are they from? Nin I didn't even look. I just grabbed them. I don't know. Ninja Turtles. Uh, these aren't th 2004. So I I'm not mm -hmm. sure. We'll have to look up what sets they're from. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys a bunch of random stuff. I found a little um, Spider-Man. Little tiny Spider-Man. I found a Lego guy, but he's missing a head. He looks like he was a, a knight or something. And then I found this other little guy, medieval guy, and he has like a... There's a leg, <laughs> a, a head stuck on... You take that head off and put it on the other body. Yeah. A little zombie so, head. Looks like, yeah, it looks like a zombie or something. or some kind of monster. There you go. Now he has a head. Uh, and then I found this little, this other little medieval guy. He's probably like from a game or something. He's pretty cool looking. There's a lot of details. Uh, got this little doggy from is it Secret Life of Pets? Yeah. A little doggy. Um. Oh, I found this little tiny grenade. I think it goes in that case with all the other little weapons with the foam. Oh, okay. Um. This guy, I think he's from Treasure Planet, Disney 2002, I think. I think it's the bad guy from Treasure Planet. I That's think he's cool. a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He's just a bad guy. Found a, a Texas belt buckle. It says the state of Texas and has a big old star. And then it says um, USA on the back. <laughs> I wonder if this would be good for the booth. Yeah. I'm going to wear it. I'm like, what's up, yo? <laughs> kind of cool it Wait. was attached to a belt but the belt was all shredded up so i just uh, took the belt buckle off that's cool i found this little skeleton guy imagine next um imagine next actually i don't know but i have another one of these somewhere imagine next fella little zoom zoom uh that caribou or whatever he is from uh frozen mm -hmm. got a donald duck here there was a lot of these um, in the bins today, but I only picked up like two of them, I think. Got a little tiny motorcycle. I don't know what it goes to. I don't know. Uh, got another Imagine X. I think it's Imagine X. Um, 
Or maybe this isn't even what I think it is. Is that for Batman? That's what I thought, but he doesn't have Batman logos anywhere. There's a stamp right there. No, it is Batman. DC Comics. Um, it's like a little like spider walker thing. Uh, and I got a cool little... Uh, a nice little display of Batman Imagine X going on at the booth. Maybe you saw it in the clip. But yeah, so pick that up to throw it into that setup. I found a little McDonald's hamburger transformer thing from 2019. <clears throat> so re-release ones. Yeah. yeah. Those are cool though. People people like those. We could put them with the other ones that we picked up in the other hall. <clears throat> I uh, found this octopus, uh, or squid, octopus, 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 squids have the thing, right? Um, and it's, this is from Bubble Gump Shrimp Company. Oh, cute. So I thought it was cool. I uh, feel like maybe cute enough for somebody to buy a little red octopus. Found a little reindeer guy with sparkly eyes. It's Thai brand. His name is Chocolate, I guess. Chocolate. Chocolate. Found a vintage Care Bears. I don't know. Rainbow Bear? Is that the name of this guy? Is it like Cheer Bear? Cheer Bear. Cheer, Cheer Bear. Bear. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's 1983. Dang. So, that's pretty cool. Nice condition, too. Clean. Yeah, Has clean. a little button, but... Got a little tiny Nerf gun. Oh, it's my turn to shoot the camera. <laughs> we saw this uh, Westover Air Force Air Force Air Force Air Force, Air Force Base uh, mug here. Any military or aviation mugs we usually pick up. Have That's a lot what, of crazy. Yeah, it has a lot of crazy, but hey, we put this for a couple bucks at the booth. See how that goes. A little tiny rubber ducky because Ivan's collecting rubber duckies. I'm not collecting them. I'm just <laughs> they're there, so I pick them up and I have my my uh, gumball machine is full of them. Eventually, I'm gonna take them out and sell them as a big lot. Somebody needs a lot of rubber duckies. Somebody needs a lot of rubber duckies. Somebody needs a lot of rubber duckies for some reason. They're just gonna swim <clears throat> in the pool with a bunch of rubber duckies. <laughs> Uh, got this, uh, it says Jurassic Valley. I know that's the plant. That's the, is that like a, a Jurassic Valley, Plant City, Florida? Is that like a little amusement center or something? Uh, a little stegosaurus. I thought that was cool. So I'll pick that up. Uh, I found this, um, I think it's, let me see what year it's from. 1990. So it's a... A cookbook and they were selling it for fundraising for a fundraiser it looks like some kind of um I don't know if she's a cheerleader or what I have no idea and that's 1990 yeah 1990 but it looks like older right what it, do you think oh do you think maybe they put it in there they the, the recipe is there. different I don't know because it kind of goes well 19, well 1990 I guess you know the 80s yeah, because this has more of an 80s or 70s feel. Like, yeah. So 1990, I guess they didn't get into all the cool colors and stuff yet, maybe. I don't know. What does that say? The Stingerettes? Stingerettes. Or maybe it's like a dance squad or something. Who knows? Uh, it has like a bunch of old recipes in here and the person like flags them and stuff. Ooh, Hershey pie. I'm going to try some of some that. pictures. Tamale pie. Is there tamale pie? Yeah. There's a pie. And, ooh, cake. Mmm, chocolate cake. <laughs> Here goes another one of those fellas I picked up. Peter Pan. In that same style. It's cool. Uh, JCPenney. Two pack of baby pillowcases. And it's still sealed. It says it has two baby pillowcases. And look at the little print. It's like a bunch of little duckies. It's really cute. I figure people don't have to use it for their baby. They could use it for something else. Picked up some media here. We got the Wedding Singer Volume 2. Uh, like soundtrack type dealie. Sealed Ghost DVD. 
Uh, got this uh, collector's edition Super Mario Brothers Super Show uh, DVD here, and got the Adventures of Super Mario Three Super uh, Mario Brothers Mix. I'll uh, probably put that in the booth. And then I found this Octonauts <clears throat> DVD also, which I'm thinking of maybe putting with the Octonaut lot. Um, yeah, maybe that'll kick up, kick up the price a few bucks on eBay. I found a Doc McStuffins little doctor kit. Um, I want to find, like when we go back again, I want to find like little doctor stuff to put in here. Like a little, you know, plastic stethoscope or something. I just thought it was in really good shape. Hey, that would be cool. That's a big, that's a, what? That's a good idea. <laughs> <clears throat> Got this uh, crocodile or alligator. Uh, is that goofy looking? Oh and he's from uh, Gans, also Webkins. There's a little W right here. The Power W. That's not the Power W. Power W is gold. It's gold. But I thought he was cool. Uh, so I picked him up. Got a little Polly Pocket uh, treehouse. And it like folds out. I remember how to do it. How does it? I'm going to break it. Let me see. So, um, oh, oh, maybe it... Um, Nope. Uh, it was open earlier. I was able to open it. There, goes. there you go. Yeah, that's pretty cute. So I'll put it with the um, Polly Pocket that's in her sleeping bag and that little picture thing. It's weird though how it's jelly, huh? The little figure? Yeah, it's jelly. The Polly Pocket. Yeah. I found, I found this uh, Buzz Lightyear. It looks like it's a, a puppet, maybe. Oh. So you put your because I was like, what's the deal with this guy? But I guess you can put your fingers in there if your fingers fit. Um, yeah, because I was like, something go in there, and then I was like, I guess it's a like a little finger puppet type deal. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. So pick that up. Is that from Burger King? Is it? I feel like I remember when oh, they were selling tight. stuff. I don't know if it was that specific. Yeah, Burger King. Is it? Burger yes. King. Got something right. Cool. <laughs> okay, I found a bunch of like tins. This is a uh, Hershey's Kiss tin. And it has like a little, it says Chocolate Avenue Hershey. Pen oh, Pennsylvania. Is it Pennsylvania? That's, that's how they abbreviate it. It has a little scene. It's really cool. Um. Then it was made in USA. Oh, 1990. So I got that one. And then I found this one. It has a little Christmas tree on there. And this one says, Made in USA, Target Christmas. So it just looked older to me. I feel like that's an older price tag. And you're saying that you're saying that these also help for when you're like decorating your booth and stuff to put things oh, in, yeah, right? Yeah. So I was telling Ivan, I was like, if, you know, I feel like maybe it won't sell by itself. If it doesn't, I could put like um, cookie cutters in there and have it be like a little set because it's a cookie tin anyway. So I thought that would be cute. Like that's a cute idea. And then um, it looked like somebody was storing their Christmas ornaments in the tin. So I opened it up and this is what was in there. I was like, what in the way? It's a gobel made in Germany. I was very excited to find that. It's in like super great condition too. It's like not chipped at all. Uh, people that are not familiar with Gobo, is that like a higher end? That's a good brand for good it. Brand. Like they make, um, remember that little angel, a little Christmas angel bell that we got? That's also Gobo. <laughs> so it's really cute. I think you could put a little candle in her, her little cup that she's holding. It looks like there's like red wax in there. And then there was another um, ornament in there. I don't know if it's as old. It kind of does look kitschy. The little wings came off, so I gotta put that back on there. But it's like a little um, a little angel. It's really cute. <laughs> another little angel, little cherub. And then I got another tin. This one has um, an angel on there. I keep wanting to say fairy. That's why I'm like hesitating. I don't know why. Because I guess they both have wings. And then the ornament that was in here. 
It's just like a little clay. Oop, good thing I didn't grab it from there. The little thing just came off. Um, it's a little angel that says peace on it. It's cute. Got this little, Monique, I guess, got this little Casey Koala um, ties. Yeah, it's sparkly. <laughs> You're so unimpressed. You're like, eh. No, it's because I started, I started like thinking about the other ones I have. Uh-huh. And I just kind of went into, should I lock this up with those? So that's why I zoned out. Should I lock them up? Like, <laughs> I um, was disappointed. Right? No. Well, it's because Ty doesn't really oh, doesn't sell that well. well. But I do have a plan on putting a bucket of, or a little area in the, um, the toy booth. Because I have all the dollar stuff. Uh, toys, I'm thinking of putting a, like, uh. All the small plush like that, putting them up for a couple bucks and putting them in a little, uh, you know, bin also. So it's like, a, you know, just a, oh yeah, this is three bucks. I'm going to get this or two bucks, whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me. And got found this um, Build-A-Bear uh, rainbow bear here. I've never seen this one before. Oh, cool. And again, has this little shirt. I'll take the shirt off. Throw it in with the build a bear lot uh, clothing lot and sell it separately, but uh, I thought this was a cool one, so picked mm -hmm. it up. Um, I even found this <laughs> heavenly sup, dude. Speaking of, <laughs> we're fluttering around. It's a little. It's Scooby Doo and he's dressed as an angel. This is hilarious. Yeah, I don't know what that's all it's about. It's so funny. Well, he died. He went to heaven. <laughs> but that was he, dark. Did he die? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was <laughs> like, wait, did he die in the cartoon or what? Maybe it's just like a Halloween costume or something. I thought it, I mean, well, maybe it'll be good for Halloween or, I don't know. Christmas or whatever, I guess. Is it, oh, it's a, it's a tree topper, see? It could no, be. I'm just kidding. You can know. hang it on your tree. <clears throat> uh, Monique found this uh, G.I. Joe Sigma 6, um, I guess. Oh, yeah. Used to be a uh, a uh, little weapons pack. I don't know if it came with the figure and this. To put the little oh, a little grenade yeah. in here because there's a little piece here. So uh, I don't does know. it fit in there? Does it go in there? Somewhere? I don't know if it's part of it, but oh, I found I saw another one at the booth, but it was empty at the bin. Um, uh oh, but. Yeah, we'll see. But it's a cool little, cool little uh, like Foot Locker type deal. Oh, type deal. <laughs> I even found me a little mixer, a little hand mixer. It says Robinson. <laughs> That's fun though, cause I was like walking around the bins and I'm like, <laughs> some some chick was like looking at me. She's like, I'm like yeah, let me mix up the bins. This is cool for the booth. I don't know if it was vintage or anything. I just, it's, it's pretty cool. So I picked it up. Found this uh, Nerf gun. Split strike right here. So, you know, you're there. You're like, oh no. Enemies to the left of you. Enemies to the right of you. What am I going to do? Easy. You split into two. And you <laughs> aim. Bam, 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 bam. So it splits into uh, two guns. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a thought off. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome. I've got a random little um, pumpkin. So it's a piece of fabric and they um, put it on interfacing. And you do that with a, um, an iron. I don't know why I can't think. But this is like part of the other stuff that I picked up. So is it like a transfer? Or? No, it's not a transfer. It's a piece of fabric. So the pumpkin is a piece of fabric. And then it's on a, the person put it on a piece of uh, interfacing. And so what happens is like usually one side of it is, um, uh, how do you sticky? describe it? Yeah, like it gets sticky when you put heat onto it, like an iron. So that's what that is. So I guess they were working on the project and then they gave up. Um, I found a Bath and Body Works little reindeer guy. This is just for me because I still have like my old um, the little hand sanitizer container. I've just been refilling it for like a long time. So I'm going to use that. 
and then I got a washi tape it just has like a um like a travel theme it has like little airplanes and stuff on it but that was cool it's still sealed so I started coming back here to the clothes and just kind of walking through a lot of times there's toys back here people are gonna pick something up and then they change their mind and plush also especially the ones in the back so we're just gonna give a quick glance Ooh, look at that here is an ant-man costume i think we'll take that for the costume and then I got some hangers, found some hangers, so that's awesome. Man, you can find everything at the bins. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Anything else look good over here? So, usually back here, you find flesh. Don't see anything, so. So luckily I've been finding these at the bins these past couple times we've gone. I got this one and a black one. A black one? It's... Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Uh oh. Um, so I've been picking them up because they're cool for the shelves at the at the bins at the boot at the yeah at the boot right? antique malls yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like I'll have this and I'll just fill it up with plush, like cheaper plush, and just kind of put a little sign that says something to attract buyers. <laughs> I got a bunch of random little pieces of fabric. A lot of them are like Christmas themed. So I got this little Santa Claus. I got a bigger Santa Claus. Um, I got Tweety. Tweeties. I got Sylvester with a little wreath. I just dropped one. I got Sylvester with a little present. It says to Tweety. <laughs> He's cute. Um, I got a little ghost. Oh, two little ghosts dancing. Um, I got this larger one. It looks to be Halloween themed. It's like a whole project. I don't even know. Oh, it's like a witch costume. Witch hat. Oh, is it? Uh, no, witch. Witch bag. Witch bag, witch cape. Witch cape. Witch, witch hat. Witch hat. And, yeah. That's it's a cool. Whole, it's a whole costume project. And I got this one. This is, oh, it looks like a bunch of little elephants. This, this looks older. This is elephants on parade. It's so cute. Oh, so this is what I was talking about. When it's a mirror image, you can sew them together and kind of make like a, it's kind of like a pillow, but it's like um, animal shaped. So it's really cute. Like this is what my mom used to make when I was younger. Things like that. Got a book here, X-Men Second Genesis. That'll be a dollar book for the shelf. Stegosaurus dinosaur. People are enjoying the dinosaurs. Got a small pistol, a little Fortnite pistol. Um, ben 10 watch. Uh, Nerf uh, like laser pointer. It's not on though. I gotta see if I switch the batteries. Another Nerf gun, a little uh, fire strike here. And this one, yeah, you see that? This one has a little pointer there. Uh, what else? I got this gun. I just thought it was cool. Uh, normally I wouldn't pick up this type of toy, but that's like super. I don't know. I was like, well, this is fun. So I thought that was. I thought that I thought that was cool. Like the sound is perfect. The gun design is cool. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that and put it in the booth. Got a, a little plush here. A little uh, reindeer. And this is Wish Pets, a wish come true. I'm a hand puppet. Oh, that's what he is. That's why I picked it up. Does your hand fit in there? My hand does not fit in there. <laughs> so he's a hand puppet. Hand puppets are, do pretty well. <clears throat> um, another Air Force Base, Hill Air Force Base, Utah. 
So that's cool. Already my stuff. Take over. I got a quilting book. It says Lap Quilting with Georgia Bone Steel. And it also has this thing inside. Um, they're like little templates. Ah. They're kind of like plasticky. It has like a bunch of templates in there. And then I'll show you a picture or two. Let's see, let's see what kind of stuff we can make. Make a cool blanket for your fort, for your treehouse. <laughs> to show you how to make the treehouse? <laughs> Uh, there's a bunch of cool things in here. There's like that. Mm, yeah, I mean, you, you get the idea. Shows you how to do like different quilts and stuff. We got another tie. Tie. What are these called? These are something buddies or something. I don't know. The sparkly eyes. Cool. Um, I got it. You know what? I found these two packs. I, I'm not exactly sure what they are. I think they're like paper coasters, but they look older. I'm not sure if that's what they are, and I'm sure you guys are going to tell me in the comments. Um, but yeah, there's like this print with like a bird and a heart and some flowers, and there's a bunch of them. And then I got a different set. This one has like a floral design on it. It's really pretty. And I saw some other ones, but they were loose, like floating around in the bin, but they got stained, so I didn't pick them up. But those were really cool. I had like a lady on there cooking. She's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Monique uh, picked up this uh, Nerf uh, Target practice dealie. It's kind of cool because I want to try it because I've got a bunch of Nerf guns, so I want to play this. I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, oh, man, I wish I could get one of those. Oh, man. Monique I did found good. one. So hopefully it works. And... Uh, we can try it out and put it, it in the Nerf Moon. I hope it works. Uh, I got a gun too. Watch out, guys. <laughs> so, I, th I feel like I've seen these in the, the drugstore. And when he got this little, uh, oh, it's an axe, but it, you said it was knockoff, it's bootleg, right? Oh no, it's From Mattel, Andy. so it might be legit. So it's real, right? I thought it was yeah. real. I don't know. I just started. I, I sold so. the other one I had at the booth, um, but I had it for like a couple bucks. Oh, it's broken. Oh. I had it for like a couple bucks because it was like. Like I had a lot of wear on it, so but it the next day I think it sold. Found a little trick or treat um decoration. It looks like it was from Walmart. They sold it for um three dollars. It's really cute, I like it. More uh tie here. Little Sammy fish. I guess when he got this little stamp uh pin. Mm -hmm. We do have a, a little pin, a little pin um, bin at vintage pin bin at the Monique's booth. Oh, okay. Because I had a bunch of like, well, you saw them. You would have seen them earlier. And she got this cool Donald <laughs> Donald Duck, rubber duck, uh, Batman. I found a little tiny gas station that says Texas Tea, and I found a little diaper guy, and I found Woody. Woody rambo and then I found a little um truck. It says Tonka on it too. So oh, I was gonna say it's Tonka. That's why I that's grabbed cool. it. Okay. I found a little um Spider Man motorcycle. This is for like the little baby Legos, right? Uh Duplos, yeah. Duplos. And then I found a sock monkey, like little purse. <laughs> I don't know if it's like for trick or treat or what, but his little hat comes off. Uh, you could put stuff in there, but he's cute. Oh, I didn't see that. You had to pick this up, a little. Yeah. Mario hat. I think it's for little kids, huh? Yeah. It's tiny. And then I got this. Um, maybe you guys could help me. 
it's like this little velcro bag it looks like it was handmade i don't know if you're supposed to put coupons on there or tissue it has a little button and then there's a little pocket in there but i just thought it was really cool and nicely nicely done it has some embroidery like in gray it's really pretty i found a little um christmas tree ornament it has a bunch of little bunnies in there it's by hallmark 1997 mark newman i gotta find like a little string for that though and then i got this little house i think you put like a little tea light in there because this thing opens down here oh uh, yeah so and this is from pier one and they're going out of business so i don't know i just thought maybe somebody would want it it's cute it's metal so and then i found another uh vintage rubber made uh pitcher this one I think is called Harvest Yellow and it's the uh, two and a quarter quarts picture. And then I got a pumpkin. That's and cool. It's also metal. This is uh this is from TJ Maxx, but the original brand is called Witchcrafters. Looks like they were selling it for eight bucks. Here's another one. Black one. Black Rattle Soul. I got this woodcraft construction kit. It looks like a little dump truck. You put it together. I got hangers. For the costumes? For the costumes. And the t-shirts. You're starting, we're starting to get to that. It's like, we need hangers. Because I was asking, I was like, I should go buy some hangers. And then we got hangers at the bins. Oh, we're starting to get to that spot. We needed these, these, these uh, bins here. Like the little, for, organization. The, for the organization bins. Now we're finding them at the bins, so that's cool, man. That's awesome. It's magic when that happens. Well, it's cool because those are from the uh, container store. Container store. Container have, store yeah. is expensive. They have container store stickers, so, so I was like, yes, please. I found another one of these cool folders. I picked up um, a light blue one in an earlier haul, and this one has a bunch of cool like plastic dividers and pockets already in there. Yeah. And Monique found this uh, super soaker. Oh wow. Yeah, it makes noise and everything. Oh, so it's just shit like that. It probably needs batteries though, right? There's a button right here somewhere. Uh, I don't know what that does. I think that releases the, the tank thing. I don't know. Well, maybe it doesn't take batteries. That's cool though. I'm glad that it has a little tank on it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, I even found this Rainbow Bright costume. Look at the little baby on there. He looks like so depressed. He's like, why did you dress me up in this dang thing? At, at first, I just found the pants. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I was like, maybe there's some funky mom that don't want to put these on her kid. <laughs> and then I found the shirt. And then we found the bag with the white thing in it. So I was like, well, let's take it. Yeah, it's a whole set. That's it, guys. That's the end of our haul. Hopefully, this video wasn't too long. But I didn't want to split it up again. I just wanted to keep everything that we did today in the one video. So hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you watch the whole thing, hit that like button. We appreciate you. And now for the thing that everybody wants to know, what did you pay? Uh, so we spent $75. Well, we we got, a, we, what? Oh. We, we bought 115 items. Mm. So we just showed you 115 items. Um, and we paid $75 and 73 cents. Totally. So that break, breaks it down to uh around 65 cents per piece so that is cool that's we paid cool. 65 cents for that we paid 65 cents for that that's awesome so again so earlier when i was talking about the booth and like um stuff game, being stolen and stuff the, uh, these prices that we're paying that's why it's not a big deal for me I, I, and again i don't want stuff to get stolen from no. me but you know 65 cents i'm not gonna i'm cry not gonna cry about it you know i do understand other people that put more money into their their inventory and stuff yeah but for me that's why i'm happy with the way everything's going right now because we're paying these prices we're selling on ebay we're we, we have three um three three booths three booths <laughs> and uh we're paying these prices for them and uh so we're we're happy right now we're happy with the way things are going mm -hmm uh guys you are watching this on christmas eve mm -hmm. so 
So Merry Christmas. Merry Eve. Christmas. Have a great holiday holidays, and uh, I will have we will have a couple more videos for you uh, the next next few days. Um, I went out Christmas shopping for Monique. That'll be tomorrow's video. We go on a hunt for Monique's gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the f day after that, we're gonna we're gonna see us opening our presents, maybe. Okay. Opening presents, or maybe just showing you what we gave each other uh, for Christmas. So that those are the next few videos. So I hope you guys enjoy that. We probably won't be back at the bins until after New Year's, mm -hmm. until January, because we we do have a lot of stuff that we got to process. So we're gonna take this mm -hmm. time. Uh, that the antique malls are going to be closed for a day or two um, mm -hmm. and kind of get stuff processed and get stuff listed on eBay. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys had a great holiday or having a great uh, Christmas. Hopefully you get all the gifts you wanted. All your dreams and wishes came true. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for uh, for sticking around. Hopefully you watched the whole video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, hop on over to YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and then go back to Facebook. We're always going to post the videos on Facebook. So, uh, you know, you can watch them there. But just help us uh, hit that with that sub sub uh, subscribe button where we just passed 500 subs. So we're trying to get to the next goal of 1,000 subs. And uh, we're on our way slowly but surely. Hopefully we'll get there. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends if you know anybody that is interested in this type of content. And to anything else. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll probably see you before New Year's Eve. So we'll see you soon.